All right, so I know some of you saw this in class, some of you did not, so I wanna make sure that we're all on the same page, and that is, how do we type logs into the calculator? So remember, in our calculator, we have this button right here, log, and then we also have this button right here, ln, that's natural log. Uh, and we talked about in class that the log button is actually log base 10 of x, that's what we called our common log. Uh, and when we don't see a base written here, then it is implied that it is base 10. It's the common log, so the base doesn't always need to be written. Natural log is log base e of x. Uh, again, it is used so often and that we don't write log base e. Also, this can look confusing because it looks like maybe it's just a sloppy written word that we don't really know what it means. Um, so instead of the confusion of having a subscript of E, we just write LN, but that is the same as log base E of X. Also remember I did mention in class, you will never see this written on a test or a quiz or a standardized test um, because it's not common practice. So it's common practice for us to write LN. So the first thing is typing into the calculator. If I have, for instance, log base 10 of 100 in my calculator, all I'm going to do is I'm going to type in log of 100. And remember, what is this saying? Well, if I have log base 10 of 100, this is saying 10 to what power equals 100? Great question. Glad you asked it. But we should know the answer to this is going to be 2 because 10 squared is 100. So our answer right here is 2. But what if I want to do the natural log of 5? So I can type in ln of 5, and this is going to be a little sloppier because this is base E. So we're going to get 1.609. So we know this is 1.609. And just so that we're clear, I want to make sure we understand that um, <clears throat> log base 10 is not always going to produce these nice integer values. So maybe we have log base 10 of, let's say, 90. Well, what's that going to be? So I can type in log 90, and I see that that's 1.954. It should make sense that 90 is less than 100, so log of 90 is going to be a little bit less than 2. So this is 1.954. Okay, but the big question is, well, what happens when it's not base 10 or base E? What do I do? Do I give up? That's an option. Not the best choice, though. So let's look at these three examples right here. If you have a newer version of a TI-84, then conveniently, if you click on math, and then if you scroll down to the bottom, then you see that the A choice is log base. So if I choose log base, then look at what the calculator does. It puts in this notation. Uh, so I can see, okay, I want log base 20 of 175. So I'm going to do 20, 175, and I hit enter, and I get 1.724. Again, this is saying 20 to what power equals 175. Um, and so that should be less than 2. So 1.724. Sorry, that's a little bit sloppy there. That was a 7, obviously. Uh, so then if I have log base 4 of 0.045, I can do math. And now notice, remember I said I scrolled down before. It's actually easier or a little bit quicker if I scroll up because it cycles through the list. And then now I get to the bottom of the list. So that just saves me a little bit of time. And we wanted to do log base 4 of 0 0.045. So 4, point oh four five. hit enter, and I get negative 2.237. So uh, take a second, pause the video, and make sure you can type in log base 1 8 of 64. Unpause when you are ready to check. All right, so now we should hopefully get negative 2 for log base 1 8th of 64. And if you're confused on how I did that, so again, here you can see my work, but I did math. Math. I uh, went up to log base, and then I did 1 8th 
of 64. Boom. And I got negative 2. Again, that should make sense because 1 eighth to what power is 64? Well, 8 to the second power is 64, but since it's a fraction, we use the negative exponent, and bam, we get 64. Nice work, team. Now, the question some of you might be having is, well, wait a, wait, wait, wait a minute. I don't have a newer calculator, and so I don't have this log base feature. That's okay. We can still deal with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a relationship with logs called the change of base. And this is pronounced base, base, b -b 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 base. That's what that stands for. But now this is also going to be good for those of you that do have the change of, or that do have the log base function on your calculator. Um, this is good, just general knowledge. So if I have some log base a of x, I can change this into any base I want by dividing two separate logs. Now you may start to be overwhelmed by saying, wait a minute, this looks really confusing. It's really not. All I'm trying to show you is that I can change any base I want, so base A, into any base B. I don't really necessarily care about any base B. I care about log base 10 or log base E because those are the buttons on my calculator. So for instance, if I have log base 2 thirds of X, this is the same thing as log of X over log of 2 thirds, where remember log is log base 10. Or if I have log base y of 4.7, I can also use natural log. So I can say this is ln of 4.7 over ln of y. So if I want to type things into the calculator, let's go back to these examples since we already know the answers. Well, instead of log base 20 of 175, what I could type into the calculator is log of 175 divided by log of 20. And so if I go to my calculator, log 175, make sure to close the parentheses, divided by log 20. And look at that, we get the same answer, 1.724, 1.724, boom. Uh, just for example, let's look at this one. And here I'm going to again use natural log instead of log base 10. So I could type into my calculator ln of 0.045 divided by ln of 4. And if I go to my calculator, ln of 0.045, close parentheses, divided by ln of 4, close parentheses, and boom, we get negative 2.23. 7, which again is exactly what we got by using the log base. So for those of you who do not have the log base function on your calculator, no worries, you can use the change of base equation. Uh, this is something that's comma test or a quiz, you can put on a note card. And again, just a good thing to know in general for um, standardized tests as well. And the last thing with the change of base is just reiterating that it does not matter what base we change it to, so just pick either using log base 10 or natural log, it doesn't matter. I was just trying to show that they both work.